Mulcall International, leading the industry with its Mulcall fire protection line of innovative passive fire stop products, introduces the Multi Selector. Searching for the right fire stop products and solutions can be a time consuming affair. That is why Mulcall developed the Multi Selector for penetration seals. This video will guide you through the quick and easy process of using the Multi Selector to thoroughly specify the correct fire retardant penetration seals for your application. On the Mulcall Fire Protection home page, start the Multi Selector by clicking the Multi Selector logo in the upper right hand section of the title bar. Almost immediately we notice a help window in the lower right hand corner. If at any time we need help from a Mulcall representative, we can open this help window and either select Contact Us, which will redirect us to the standard phone and email contact information, or we can select or call the help desk which will use our favorite desktop app, such as Skype, to initiate a call to Mulcall. For now, we will simply close this window. Notice it still presents itself as a small talk bubble icon. Once into the Multi Selector, we start step one of our search based either on the type of construction we have, or if we know the type of penetration seal we need, we can search based on product. For this video, we will search based on the type of construction. Next, in step two, we specify either floor or wall construction. We will choose wall. In step three, we see that we have categories based on various thicknesses of both flexible and rigid wall construction, as well as selections of flexible and rigid shaft wall construction. We will select the flexible wall construction greater than 100 millimeters. In step four, we can select the required fire resistance of the penetration seal. In this case, we will choose 90 minutes. In step five, we specify the number of penetrations that we need to seal. We can select either single, multiple, or a seal for no penetration, that is a blank seal. In this case, a multiple penetration means there are multiple services with different materials that will pass through the same opening. We will select single service penetration. In step six, we see the various ways that a penetration can be angled and positioned on the construction element. These range from simple horizontal and metal supporting half shelf to more complex combinations of flush to wall, corner and floor, as well as angled penetrations. We will take the simple case of a horizontal penetration. For step seven, we now see a wide selection of the types of conduit that can be penetrating the construction. They vary from simple PVC and copper through cable trays and ladders, cable bundles and sanitation lines. Let's choose PVC for our application. Now in step eight, we choose whether or not our PVC pipe is insulated. If insulated, we have the option of standard insulation like K-Flex or Armaflex or acoustic insulation. We will choose uninsulated. Step nine is where we choose the nominal diameter of our penetration. Selections range from less than 32 millimeters up to and including 315 millimeters we will select 110 millimeters. At step 10, the multi selector advises us that there are four different products that are appropriate for our application. Before we examine the various products, it might be good to mention that the multi selector can be navigated by clicking previous steps in the step selection displayed above the current step. Do not use your browser's back button as this will take you out of the multi selector and back to the home page. If you do hit the back button by mistake, don't worry, the multi selector remembers where you left off. Simply select the multi selector once again and you will find yourself back where you left off. Let's select multi collar slim and go to step 11 to examine the solutions. For multi collar slim, there are four solutions. These solutions will vary based on the manner of construction and the type of installation used. For the 110 millimeter PVC that we are using, we see that there are actually two applicable solutions. Solution one uses the specified construction with a penetration seal and gives a 90 minute resistance. But the multi selector shows us in solution four that the addition of fire stopping boards such as the multi mastic FB1 at the point of our penetration can raise the resistance to an EI rating of 120. This is an important feature of the multi selector as it can often alert us to options that we might not have considered, but that could be critical in meeting our specifications for fire resistance. We'll come back to the solution selection again for more detail when we make our final product selection. 
If we select Step 10 again, we can look at the other products and see what solutions they offer. Selecting the Multimastic C product, we see two applicable solutions for our 110 mm penetration. One of them looks familiar. It is, of course, the solution that gives us an IE rating of 120 minutes and uses the Multicolor Slim as part of the solution. Again, the multi-selector is making sure we see all applicable cross solutions that may apply to our specifications. Backing up to Step 10 and selecting Multi-Sealant GR, we see a quick and cost-effective way to get an IE rating of 120 using this product. Lastly, we see that by using Multi-Wrap, we see that we get two solutions with the same EI rating of 90. However, these two solutions involve using different Molcol products that allow for flexibility in methods of construction. This can be particularly helpful in a two-phase inspection where the basic installation has to be inspected before sealing with fire stop mortar, for example. So now, after looking at all applicable products and solutions, we decide to use the Multicolor Slim. We remember from our initial perusal of these solutions that Solution 1 offered an EI rating of 90 minutes uncapped uncapped. After selecting this, we want to examine the solution in some more detail. When we click on the solutions, we see a 3D cutaway rendering of the solution with callouts that are referenced in the text. If we mouse over the 3D rendering, we immediately get a magnified view and can reference any part of the rendering to its details in the associated text by the callout numbers. Notice down below this rendering, there are other 3D renderings, as well as technical drawings showing various sectional views of the solution which reference critical dimensions, materials, and specs. Looking through this information, we again see that the solution is mentioning other Molcol products, and that they are referenced with applicable installation recommendations. Below the bullet points are three icons. The first states that the fire resistance rating applies to both sides of the solution. The second icon gives the classification of the EI rating of 90 minutes for the uncapped uncapped configuration. The third icon is actually a hyperlink to download the testing report in PDF format. The page reference is also given so that the user can quickly find the product of interest. Below this section, there is a hyperlink to a products download page where you can get product data sheets, safety data sheets, European test reports, and the product installation manual. You can also go directly to the product description page where you can read a full description, view product videos, and get full technical and application data. You can also step through the next and previous solutions for a quick comparison of basic requirements and product dependencies. Above the text section, there are buttons to email the solution, download and or print the solution, or go back to the solutions page for this product. We will choose Email. Here we see we have some options for sending the product datasheet as well as making sure that we are copied on the email. We'll fill in the relevant data and send. Here, then, is the email as it was received, along with the product datasheet. So then we see that the multi-selector gives us a quick way to peruse product specifications and their applications at the deepest level to make an informed choice and to be able to communicate the relevant data to others clearly. Thank you, and we hope this video was informative. If you need more information, don't forget to go to the contact page on our website at molcall.com.